morning, boys and girls. How are you today? It's Miss Julianne from the Scugog Library, and I'm live at home with my cat, Troy. Indeed, we are doing a farm theme today, boys and girls. We are going to talk about farm animals today. So I'm dressed in my farm clothes. I couldn't find my farmer's hat, but anyways, I've got my farmer coat on. Troy is already here. He's got his farm. Look at this. He's got quite the outfit on here today, Troy. Yeah, he loves going to the farm. Absolutely, don't you, Troy? So he's all ready. And you know who else is ready for the farm? Oh, we have Storytime Teddy. He's got his little farm scarf on. And I tried to get Mama Duck to put on something that looked like she was gonna go to a farm, but she really likes shiny things. So I couldn't get this hat off of her today. So, but that's all right. So it doesn't matter if you wanna wear something shiny to the farm or something that makes you look like a farmer, doesn't really matter. So I'm glad you joined me today. So we are gonna get started by clapping, okay? Are we ready? Okay, I'm gonna put my story time glasses on so I can see who's joining us today, all right? Here we go. All right, let's clap. <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone. Now it's time we're gonna have some fun. First we'll clap our hands like so. Then we're gonna bend and touch our <gasps> toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now it's time we're gonna have some fun. Woohoo! Great job! All right, so again, who's just joining us? We are talking about farm animals today. So, have anybody ever been to a farm? I have. Does anybody know what kind of animals live on the farm? Do cats live on the farm? They do in the barn. They help the farmer catch the mice. And I think cows live on the farm and they provide milk for us, the, the cows. Moo. And of course we have ducks, quack, quack, quack. And we have, anybody else? Can anybody else tell me what farm animal lives on the farm? Get someone to type it up for you if you can. That would be great. And we can look at it after. All right, so we're gonna get on, oh, cats, yes. Cats live on the farm, you've got that, yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do um, our warm up songs, then we're gonna get right to our farm songs and our book, okay? Sheep, that's right, Hayden, sheep. What does a sheep say? Bah! We have to practice all these sounds because we're going to be doing a lot of songs. Mm-hmm. Farm songs today. All right. So let's start by wiggling up our fingers for the itsy bitsy spider. Okay. You ready, Troy? Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Oh, I think Troy wants just a minute now. We got to stop the song. Troy wants to go. You want to leave, Troy? Okay, I gotta take off his farm outfit. Here he goes. Okay, it's time for him to go to sleep. Okay, there he goes. Sorry, let's get back to the itsy bitsy spider. We'll start from the beginning. Ready? We go up your ten fingers. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and it washed the spider out and out came the sun and it dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. <laughs> Terrific. That's right. There's horses on the farm. Nay. Oh, and yep, cows. Moo. Right. So let's see who's joining me today and we're going to do our morning train song our, to introduce you all. All right. Remember, choo-choo. So if you wanna get someone to type your name and so Julianne can see it on the screen, okay? Are we ready? Here we go. The morning train is coming, how are you? 
Choo choo! The morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo! The morning train is coming. The morning train is coming. The morning train is coming. How are you? Choo choo! Here comes oh Farmer Wyatt. How are you? Choo choo! Here comes Farmer Wyatt. How are you? Choo choo! Here comes Farmer Wyatt. Here comes Farmer Wyatt. Here comes Farmer Wyatt. How are you? Choo choo! Here comes. Oh, we have Clara and Kenny. How are you? Choo choo! Here comes Clara and Kenny. How are you? Choo choo! Here comes Clara and Kenny. Here comes Clara and Kenny. Here comes Clara and Kenny. How are you? Choo choo! Here comes Hayden. How are you? Choo choo! Here comes Hayden. How are you? Choo choo! Here comes Hayden. Here comes Hayden. Here comes. Hayden, how are you? Choo choo! Here comes, did I miss anybody? Oh, Olivia, how are you? Choo choo! Here comes Livia, how are you? Choo choo! Here comes Livia, here comes Livia, here comes Livia, how are you? Choo choo! Awesome! Okay, so boys and girls, uh, the other song we're gonna do to get started is Okay, remember, where are we going? We're going to the farm, okay? So let's pretend we're going to the farm and we're gonna use our imaginations here. And, oh, Grace and Iris, how are you? Choo, choo. Here comes Chase and Parker, how are you? Choo, choo. Glad you're joining everyone. Okay, so farm theme. So, imagination station here. We're gonna go to the farm, okay? You're gonna help me with this. Okay, here we go. Oh, we went to the farm one day, one day, we went to the farm one day, we saw some... <laughs> Who's on the farm? What farm animals? Cows along the way, and this is what they said. What does a cow say? Boys and girls, say it with me. Moo, moo. Okay, let's do it again. We went to the farm one day, one day, we went to the farm one day, we saw some... <laughs> Hey, what are pink things that live on the farm, those animals? What are they called? Pigs, right? Along the way, and this is what they said. What does a pig say, boys and girls? Oink, oink, oink. Well, we went to the farm one day, one day. We went to the farm one day. We saw some... I think somebody already mentioned this. They're white and they're fluffy and they're really soft. What are they called? Sheep. And this is what they said. What does a sheep say, boys and girls? Ba, ba. Okay, we'll do one more. We went to the farm one day, one day. We went to the farm one day. We saw some, okay, they're yellow and they like to swim around in water. What are they called, boys and girls? We know. They are ducks. Here we go. And this is what they said. What does a duck say? Quack, quack, quack. Good job, boys and girls. That's awesome. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do next is another little song, all right? So, you know, the farm animals really like it when the sun comes out. They love that. They love lying in the sun. It's so warm on their bodies, right? So we're going to do a song, and it's called Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. And I think you all might know it. I have my, what is this? I have my sun, and I have a, a tree. I just made this myself. I cut out the back of a granola box there, I used it for the trunk of the tree. All right, so are we ready? Get your sons like this, okay? Here we go. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so they can play with you. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, I think it's working. The sun is shining brighter. 
Good job, boys and girls. Okay, so we are going to stand up, do a little action, okay, because we've been sitting for a while now. Okay, so let's all stand up and we are going to do another song to get ready for story time, all right? Okay, we all standing up. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're gonna clap. Everybody go clap, clap, clap. Everybody go clap, clap, clap. Everybody go clap, clap, clap. We're clapping our hands at Julianne's house. Everybody can you stomp your feet? Everybody can you stomp your feet? Everybody can you stomp your feet? We're stomping our feet at Julianne's house. Everybody let's jump up to the sky. Everybody let's jump up to the sky. Everybody let's jump up to the sky. We're jumping up at Julianne's house. Everybody can you sit down? Everybody can you sit down? Everybody can you sit down? We're sitting down for story time. Okay, I'm really excited to read this story. Aren't you too, Teddy? Story time Teddy loves this book. I'm gonna show you what it's called here. It's called, I heard, said the, what is that on there? It's a bird, right. So this book has really been kicking around the library for a long time. And when a book looks like this inside, I uh, see how it's kind of in a rough shape. I always say it's a well-loved book, that people have been reading this book for years and years, so it's a good sign that it's gonna be a good book, all right? So, this book is written by Polly Burns, and the pictures are by Brad Sneed, all right? Oh, look what's on the back there. We have a, a horse, of course, nay. So if you're ready for story time, clap your hands. If you're ready for story time, clap your hands. If you're ready for story time. If you're ready for story time. If you're ready for story time. Let's clap your hands. If you're ready for story time, rub your bellies. If you're ready for story time, let's rub your bellies if you're ready for story time if you're ready for story time if you're ready for story time let's rub your bellies now if you're ready for story time we're gonna sit real still and we're going to freeze like you're frozen if you're ready for story time we're gonna sit real still and we're going to freeze like you're frozen if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, let's sit real still and freeze like you're frozen. Yay! And Mac and Nika are joining us. Yay! Okay, so again, we're talking about farm animals here, and this is set called I Heard Said the Bird. Let's get to it, boys and girls. I'll move a little bit closer, so I'll read it and then I'll put the pictures on the screen so you can see what's going on, all right? What do we have here? Just a minute. That is one big bird. I, a bird flew into the barnyard. I heard, said the bird. I heard. Well, well what? What asked the animals? Well, what did you hear? I heard, said the bird that there's a new one coming. <gasps> what could that be, boys and girls? Well, soon the barnyard was bustling with all the news. They were gathering all around those farm animals. Everyone began asking, well, what is the new one going to be? They asked the duck, quack, quack. Is the new one a Duckling? What do you think, boys and girls? Quack, quack. No, said the duckling. Said the duck. It's not a duckling. Okay. Well, what do we have here? That is a big pig. They asked the pig. Is the new one a piglet? Hmm. But the pig said, oink. Oink, 
Oink. No. Hmm. Okay. Well, they asked the goose and they asked the hare. And oh, look at this. They asked the mouse and they asked the mare. Look at that mouse on that mare's nose. <laughs> Sneaky little mouse. They asked here and they asked everywhere, but everybody said, no, not me, not me. <gasps> well, who could it be, I wonder, boys and girls? Hmm, any guesses? Well, how do you know there's a new one coming, said the animals all together. See, they're all asking the bird. How would that bird know, boys and girls? Heard, said the bird. Well, how, said the moo cow. When, said the hen. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Where, said the mare. Nay. In the house, squeak the, the mouse. Just a minute here. Look at that mouse. Look at that big tooth he has. Jeez, I never knew that they had those big teeth like that. Okay in the house. Well, just then a little boy came out. What's going on? He asked. Well, the animals told him, it's about the new one. I heard, said the tweet tweet, the bird. There's the little boy coming out seeing what's going on in the barnyard. Well, how, said the Moo cow. When, said the hen. Cluck, cluck. Where, said the mare. Nay. In the house. Squeak the mouse. In the house. Where's that mouse now? Whose nose is that mouse on now? <laughs> I think he's on the cow's nose. Yes, said the little boy. Shouted all the animals. Can you see them having a little conversation there with that little boy? Wow. Yes, said the little boy. The new one is in the house. And if you'll be very quiet, shh, I'll let you see him. Ooh, cried all the farm animals all together. They were so excited to see this new one. Then very quietly, the little boy led the animals to the house. And very quietly, they all tiptoed, tiptoed to the window. And they, they looked inside. It's a new baby, the little boy whispered. Can you see them leading all the farm animals there? Shh. Shall we look to see? Oh, look at boys and girls. The farmer had a baby. A new baby on the farm. Wow. My word, said the tweet tweet bird. And how, said the moo, the cow. Of course, said the Nay, the horse. Well, well, I declare, said the, whoops, said the hare. Ooh, the end. Look at those long ears on that bunny there, that hare. <gasps> wow. So not only are all these um, baby farm animals being born on the farm right now, but some of the farmers are having little babies as well. Isn't that terrific? Yes. So we're gonna do a little farm song and then we're gonna do a craft, all right? So the song I'd like to do next is, it goes like this. We're gonna clap our hands, okay? We're gonna go through some farm animals here. Everybody say moo, moo, moo. Everybody say moo, moo, moo. Everybody say moo, moo, moo. We're mooing like a cow. Everybody can you quack like a duck? 
Everybody say quack, quack, quack. Everybody say quack, quack, quack. We're quacking like a duck. Everybody can you oh, oink like a pig. Oink, oink, oink. Everybody go oink, oink, oink. Everybody go oink, oink, oink. We're oinking like a pig. Well, what else is on the farm, boys and girls? Oh, I know. Chickens. Can you cluck like a chicken? Everybody go cluck, cluck, cluck. Everybody go cluck, cluck, cluck. Everybody go cluck, cluck, cluck. We're clucking like a chicken. Now, have I missed anything else on the farm? Any other farm animals? Oh, horse, right, of course. Here we go. What does the horse say? Nay. Everybody go nay, nay, nay. Everybody go nay, nay, nay. Everybody go nay, nay, nay. We're neighing like a horse. Yay. Awesome job. So I'm going to show you that quick and easy craft we're going to do today, all right? So speaking of horses, we are going to make a horse, of course. So this is my horse that I made, and you really only need a few items to do this. So I'll show you what you're going to need, and you can do this after story time if you'd like. Yes. Oh, just a minute. I just see a sheep. <gasps> Thanks there, Clara. Let's just go back. Everybody say ba ba ba. Everybody say ba ba ba. Everybody say ba ba ba. <gasps> we have sheep on the farm. Good job. Okay, so I'm gonna get my. Who remembers what shape my breadboard is? It goes with our theme today. <gasps> it is the shape of a. Right. It's the shape of a pig. Yes. So I'm going to show you what I did. I got a cereal box that was empty, of course, and I cut out my shapes out of my cereal box. So what I needed was for our horse needs a, a long neck, just like that. And oh, he has a really large head. So I kind of just cut out any old way you want to do it. And I'm gonna glue it on just like that, all right? So we have one piece, two pieces, but we also need, we just need some ears for our horse, of course. So I found another, see that's the back of the cardboard. I'll use this part. So I need to cut out two triangles, all right? So let's do it. Two triangles coming up for our horses. What are we doing? Our horse's ears, so the horse can can hear, right, boys and girls? All right, I've got right there, careful with the scissors now, always careful with your scissors. Um, look at this, I have two ears for our horse. And what do we need in order for our horse to see? Right, two eyes, <gasps> there you go. You can have any color of eyes, I just have black for mine. So I'm gonna start to glue this together. So I'm gonna get my glue stick right here. And remember, I don't need a whole bunch. I don't need it all the way up. Just a little dab will do me today. So I am gonna put some glue on the neck right here, okay? And what am I gonna glue onto the neck? What's attached to the horse's neck is a head, like that. There we go. So we have our horse head right there and neck, whoops. <laughs> I guess I needed a little bit more glue. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here we go. I've got it all attached now. But we need to put those ears on up there again. So I'm gonna put two little dabs of glue. I'm gonna go a little heavier on the glue. I guess the cardboard needs more glue than paper. See, we're always discovering new things at story time, aren't we? There we go. Oh, see the ears? But now we need the eyes. I'm gonna glue on two eyes so my horse can see. There we go. But did you ever notice like horses have really big nostrils? So what I'm gonna do for the nostrils is I'm just gonna draw two little dots down at the bottom here. One, two. 
there's the nostrils or the nose part on my horse. And I don't know if anybody in your house likes to knit, but I found some wool um, in my house. So this is gonna be, oh, this is gonna be the hair on my horse. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of glue on here like that. And I'm gonna stick some of this on there. Whatever sticks, sticks is great. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the top of my horse's head too. Just like this. There. Now let's see how this turned out. <gasps> Isn't that fantastic? I have my very own horse. Nay, nay. So remember, you just need really a few pieces of paper and well, just one piece of paper for those eyes. But if you have a cardboard box or a piece of paper, this will be terrific, okay? So you can do this craft, boys and girls. Awesome. So I'll put my craft down right here. Oh, I gotta put my lid on my glue stick because otherwise it gets all dried out. Has that ever happened to you before? Yeah, it's happened to me a few times. So anyways, that's terrific. And I'm gonna put my pig, I love my breadboard, my pig breadboard down. All right, so shall we do another song? Is there a certain song you'd like us to sing today? If you have a song you'd like me to sing with you today, maybe you could type it up there, all right? That would be great. But in the meantime, we are going to do another song and it's an action song. So again, where are we? We're at the farm. So we're gonna have to stand up for this one because we're doing action. Here we go. Everybody stand up. Okay. So we're gonna turn ourselves into some different farm animals. The first one is a bunny rabbit, right? Get ready to hop. Can you hop like a bunny? Hop, hop, hop. Can you jump like a frog and go? Jump, jump, jump. Can you trot like a turkey and go cluck, cluck, cluck? Can you snort like a hog or a pig? What do they say? Oink, oink, oink. Can you fly like a bug flying around the farm? Can you waddle like a duck and say quack, quack, quack? Then let's jump in the water and swim like a fish. Oh, that feels good on this hot day swimming, doesn't it? Indeed it does. Okay, I have someone that wants me to do. Oh, sure, Hayden. We can do Smooth Road, Rocky Road. Let's do that. I haven't done that in a long time. So I'm going to get my Storytime Teddy on my lap, all right? So you can find um, maybe a stuffed animal or a brother or sister to go on your lap or if your parents are with you or grandparents, maybe they will let you on their lap, all right? So first thing, seat belts on, click. Let's pretend we're driving to the farm, okay? Turn the key to the engine, zoom, 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 zoom. Ready? Here we go. A smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road, a smooth road. A bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road, a bumpy road. It's a rough road, a rough road, a rough road. Oh no, there's a big hole in the road. Oh, let's dig you out of the hole. We made it to the farm though. Oh, I see somebody wants to go, and Bingo was his name, oh, B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name, oh. I like that song, too. So, let me check my time here. I have some more things I'd like to do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. <gasps> we're almost out of time, but I want to do one more song. Okay, we're, well, we will do Sleeping Bunnies. Good, good idea there, Wyatt. I'll do that at the very end. Thanks for reminding me. Sometimes I forget. So we're going to do what's called The Cows in the Barn. And do you guys know the song, The Wheels on the Bus? Go to that tune, all right? So let me get my things here. I'm going to get a cow here. And here we go. The cows in the barn go moo, 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 moo. The cows in the barn go moo, moo, moo. 
all day long. The ducks in the barn go quack, 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 quack. The ducks in the barn go quack, quack, quack all day long. The sheep in the fields go ba, 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 ba. The sheep in the field go ba, ba, ba all day long. The oh, piggies in their pen go oink, 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 oink. The piggies in their pen go oink, oink, oink all day long. Yay! All right. Well, let's get to our sleeping bunnies before I forget, okay? So we're gonna find a real cozy spot to get settled in real cuddled up, okay? For sleeping bunnies, all right? I got my story time teddy here. Lights go off, click. Ready? Look at all the sleeping bunnies, they're lying oh so still. Look at all the sleeping bunnies, they're lying oh so still. Oh, so still. Well, are the bunnies ill? Click, light back on. Well, wake up sleeping bunnies, hopping, hopping. Wake up sleeping bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Wake up sleeping bunnies, you're hopping, hopping. Wake up sleeping bunnies, hop, hop, hop. job everyone well thank you for joining me today and for using your imaginations to think that we went to visit a farm today all those farm animals so we will see you next week same place same time and you could also watch me tomorrow if you'd like I do my baby time program so you could have a stuffy with you or if you have a little brother or sister or if you just want to come and join me and sing some songs, you're more than welcome. That's at 11 o'clock tomorrow. And uh, again, we're always on here for you on our Facebook page. All the story times I've done, you can see all the different crafts. I'm still loving that Pete the Cat. Remember this one from last week? I couldn't take this off. I really like this one. So remember, you can check us out on our Facebook page, all the past story times I've done and also on our YouTube channel. All right, boys and girls, you have a wonderful day. Hey, it's gonna be a hot one, so keep yourselves nice and cool. All right, see you later. Have a great day. Thanks for joining. It really means a lot just to Miss Julianne. Bye.